conditions. I'm not going to go through and, and tape off bath pans, kitchen range hoods. That's actually an air leakage of what we may want to be looking for. Uh, the only sort of point of caution here is if you, you do have a house with a wood burning fireplace and there are ashes in there, <laughs> you guys get into it. You want to cover the ashes. <laughs> okay, learn from experience. You want to cover the ashes uh, because this fan will pull and make a mess. You'll, if you don't cover them up, they'll, they'll spend two hours cleaning the house. Yeah. I had a homeowner that I kept trying to say, I better cover that. She said, no, don't worry about it. I said, I better cover that. No, it'd be fine. <laughs> and couldn't convince you, so we made a mess. Mm -hmm. uh, but more importantly, on the back of your sheet is uh, the, the code requirement for how leaky this house can be in seven air changes per hour. And what that means, if, if you think about the, the volume of air that's inside this house, so if we have a 1,500 square foot home with roughly 10 foot average ceilings, so we've got about 15,000 cubic feet of air that's inside the space. Okay. So with, with seven air changes <coughs> per hour, that means that uh, I can exhaust that amount of air through the home uh, a maximum of seven times every hour or once every eight minutes. So with that information, I can actually calculate the volume of air, and I can actually calculate, okay, what would my blower door target be to, to meet a code minimum. And so for this house, to comply with seven air changes per hour, we're looking for a blower door number of about 2,150 cubic feet per minute. So hopefully it'll pass today. <laughs> 